Have you ever had an experience where you felt like, man, I just don't fit in here? In the world. At work. With your family. In your neighborhood. Yeah, I, I, just, don't, I just don't feel like I belong. I, I just feel like I just don't fit in. There's, what, what is it? You're part of a different kingdom. You're part of a different system. You have a different king. You have a different master. You have a different Lord. You were chosen to have the blessing of not being a part of this world. You have been blessed to no longer fit in. You've been blessed to be a little bit weird. In 1 Peter chapter 2, Peter says, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, God's own peculiar people. Look around the room, folks. Not a one of us fits in anywhere else but here. Amen? You have been welcomed into the kingdom of God. And so we should not long to fit in in the world. In fact, the fact that you don't fit in is a sign that you are being transformed to the image of Christ by the grace of God. And so we don't long, we don't strive, we don't desire to, to fit in, to fly under the radar. You know, sometimes it's not easy being an alien. We are strangers in a strange land. This world is not our home. We are headed to our home. Jesus said he has gone away to prepare that place for us, that home for us, because we don't belong here anymore. We're headed to that eternal hope to be with him forever. The third thing we need to know about the world this cosmos, this system, is that God loves the world. This word cosmos is the same word that is in John three sixteen. for God so loved the world. It's not that God loved the way the world was, but it was the world he created. And so because he loved it so much, he sent his son into the world to call us out of it, to bring us healing where we were broken, that we could receive forgiveness, that we could have the new life in Christ. God loves the world. He doesn't love the way that it is. He doesn't love the fact that it's marred and broken by sin. Yet his love for it is a commitment to it. And he is committed to remaking it and reshaping the world. If you read the end of the Bible, it concludes with God saying, Behold, I am making all things new. There is a new heaven and a new earth. There is a restoration process that is happening in the world today. And we are a part of it because God loves the world. And so we too should express the love of the Father to the world around us. Amen. This is a little bit confusing because later on in the Bible it says, love not the world or the things in the world. And we don't love the world, we don't love that system the way we love God. That's not what this is talking about. We're not devoted to it any longer. We're not a part of it. But we know that God still loves the people who are bound in it. And so we are sent every single day by God on a rescue mission to save people from this broken world system.